This weather report is brought to you by Chemist Warehouse. Keeping Australian families happy and healthy all year round. There are some things that are just part of you. You're born with it. Will has spent his life watching and covering the news. It's in his blood. Thinking back to those early days, seeing Dad's commitment, I knew. That's what I wanted to do. Will has covered South Australia's biggest stories and Rosanna's track record is impeccable. She's been part of Adelaide's leading news team for two decades. I'm South Australian born and bred. This place means everything to me. Experience, when it comes to covering the news, it's a must. Together, Rosanna and Will have that experience. You can count on it. They're the team that knows Adelaide best. They live it and breathe it. With the full resources of Seven News, Adelaide's news leader is going from strength to strength. Reliable, experienced, trusted. When Adelaide needs to know, we'll make sure you know the news. Amelia joins us again and our fine conditions are set to roll on for the week, Amelia. Fine, but on the mild side, Jane, over the next couple of days before heating up over the weekend once more. Now, the dry skies over the weekend just gone. Well, it was a great opportunity for Zach Smith to put the drone up at Goolwa, filming all the water flowing down the Murray and into the ocean. Generally clear skies over the city today too, but cool southerly winds did keep the temperature at bay. Our top was 23.3 degrees. Right now, it's 18. It was a tale of two cities across the state today. Top temperatures were below average across the southern half, hotter than average across the pastoral districts. Udna Data, the warmest at a top of 40.4 degrees. Now it's a trend that will continue too as a trough across the north filters hot air in. A high pressure system is directing cooler winds across the south. It'll weaken as it heads east over the next couple of days. A weak trough will drift through on Wednesday before that next time moves in later in the week. Interstate and up to 35 degrees in Brisbane tomorrow. That's a forecast top for Darwin as well which could see a shower, maybe a thunderstorm. Back home and it's looking hotter than that across our far north. Up to 43 degrees in Coober Pedy. 40 to the top for Pukacha and for Moomba, with isolated showers likely in our west and over parts of the northern agricultural area. So, Sajuna and Waila could both see a shower or two. They're going for a top of 27 degrees. A couple of showers and 30 the top for Port Augusta. A possible shower and 28 for Port Pirie. 25 the top for Clare and Nuriotpa. 26 the top for Kadena. Closer to the southern coast, it's looking a little cooler. So, a partly cloudy 22 for Port Lincoln, Kingscote and for Mount Gambier. 21 the top for Victor Harbour, up to 27 in Murraybridge and for Renmark. In the city, down to 12 degrees overnight. Then expect a few clouds about during the day. 26, the forecast top. Out of metro waters, we're expecting east to south easterly winds to 15 knots, turning south to south westerly around midday, returning south easterly at night with seas below a metre. Taking a look ahead in that midweek trough will deliver a temperature dip on Wednesday down to 22 degrees then and on Thursday, but warming to a top of 34 degrees to kick off the weekend on Saturday. Now before I go, let's check out tonight's Ray of Sunshine. Today on International Volunteer Day, we're introducing you to Colin Trenouth. Local hero and trusty volunteer, Colin has selflessly offered his time volunteering for Meals on Wheels for over a decade. Often found in the kitchen six to seven times a week, Colin goes above and beyond either ordering, packing or delivering meals to South Aussies in need. And recently he received an outstanding contribution award. I do it because I love to do it and I'm not looking for any rewards. I'll keep doing it because I, I enjoy it so much. Now, I have heard that Colin was a unanimous decision by the judges in that national Meals on Wheels competition. He does win some prize money and, Jane, that is going straight back to Meals on Wheels and for a Meals on Wheels conference. And that is just the sort of community commitment that is admirable. Good on him. That's all the news we have for now. I'll have some updates for you throughout the evening. But in the meantime, from all of us here in the Seven Newsroom on Port Road at Hindmarsh, good night.